Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anissi Roche and this video is going to be the three month update since my big chop. So you guys, I'm going to tell you everything that's been going on, the pros, the cons, everything. So let's get started. So ever since I cut it, like I said, I have been very comfortable in wearing my hair out in this natural state. So I've been very, very comfortable. Um, it seems like the longer and the bigger my hair gets, um, the more eyes are on me like, oh my God, why she wearing her hair out like that, you know. Um, so yeah, this is how I feel about it now. So I cut it in January. It's April. So things that I have been noticing with my hair is that the bigger it gets, the longer it gets the drier my hair gets like even when I was relaxed my hair was you know like super dry but now since I cut it it's like really 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 dry so I have to moisturize sometimes throughout the day and everything like that um what else have I noticed um I'm not I think I'm a 4A because I even had Xavier like you know how you let's see how you pull one of the curls and then how they fall back so when I had him do it um and we looked at it and everything like that I think I'm a 4A but I think I have like different textures and everything going on in my hair um yeah so that's something else that I noticed but my hair is growing and it has been growing ever since I cut it um and the longer it's getting um the kind of more difficult it is to deal with it because when it was shorter, I can just like put a, you know a few products in it, you know my like my go-to products, and boom, you know I'm done. But now you know I got a section and everything like that. It's kind of getting a little tedious, you know. But you know the more my hair grow, I just know that's something that I'm gonna have to deal with. So let's do a lint check on my hair. The front. So it's here. So when I first cut my hair, it was like here, like right here. Now it's all the way down, right there. So even with that being, I know like it, you know, I don't plan on straightening my hair, but if I ever do straighten my hair, that I am going to have a serious shrinkage problem. See how it just pops back up there. But, um, yeah, what else? Okay, so some of the products that I've used um, earlier, like earlier in my videos, like my wash and goes and the best products for my hair, my hair was one length. Now the longer it's getting, put my shirt down. The longer it's getting, it just seems like, whoo, this product working over here, but it's not working over here. This product working back here, it's not working over here. So I'm still going through different products. Um, I have a new method what I'm doing with my hair. Um, yesterday it was my first time trying the L O C or the L C O method and um it worked for a little bit but then again I have to re moisturize my hair. Um uh, what else what else? I'm trying to make sure I give you guys all the good details. Um talked about the products, about the length, about the the styling. Okay. So that's something that we should talk about. The more your hair grows, you have to, you don't have to, but, you know, you want to change up a little bit, do different things. For me, I have been trying different things. Like, I tried, you guys, let me tell you. I think I'll, um, I didn't, I didn't do a video. You guys, every time I record, I yawn. Okay, so, let me tell you, I had did a twist out. I had did a twist out of my hair three times. And the first one was cute. The second time, it didn't dry long enough. And then the third time, I got under the dryer. So I think that for my hair type, I need to, when I do the, um, I did the finger cords all over my hair. Finger cords all over my hair. And I just kind of pulled them apart with the end of a wrap tail comb. I'm going to take some pictures here, show you, show you guys. I don't know why I didn't record it. But, like, yeah, so the longer your hair gets, you can do, like, different things with it, you know. I want to get to um, the routine where, like, you know, I can just do, you know, braid it up and then take it out, you know, like a braid out. But I'm just waiting for my hair, you know, to grow out a little bit more. But let's just examine my hair. So, yes, this is my hair. 
I need to um, shampoo it and put some moisturizer in it. But you know, this is just my hair. It's different. See, that's a whole different type of curl. But if you guys notice anything different, color, it's color in my hair. So you guys, let me tell you what I did. No, I did not bleach my hair. Um, everybody, I feel like I'm still here. Everyone wants me to color my whole hair, and I'm like, no. Um, I did not use bleach. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say ever. For now, I'm not gonna ever use bleach in my hair, for what I know. But I just color, put some color in it, you know. And then Xavier was like, "Why did you put it right there, boys? Where that little patch?" But what I wanted to do, I just wanted to see how you know it's gonna be with my hair. How I didn't want to do it all over, you know. And let's say it damaged my hair, then I'm just, you know out of luck and then I would have to cut it all off so we're not doing that so I did just put color right here I did this like two weeks no probably like two weeks ago just this part that part uh, you know just to spice it up just a tad bit um yes I did use color I just used it with a higher volume um I was being I was being very cautious what is this I was being very cautious because, you know, I didn't want it to damage my curls. You know, that was the whole point of me cutting, cutting my hair was for to get rid of, you know, damaged hair. So, I did. That's why I did, like, this little section and everything so far. So far, so good. Um, Do I, am I going to continue? Am I going to dye my whole hair? No, I just think for me, this is just going to be, like, my little, you know, my little trend that I'm going to do. Just, you know, color just one little section probably do a different color whenever once this fade all the way out i don't know but um yeah so so far everything has been good it's just the only stressful part is the moisturizing part like my hair gets extremely dry i just i don't know if it's i say in texas houston matter of fact, so i don't know if it's our weather i don't know what it is but my hair just stays dry 24 7. so um yeah i'm gonna do another video about my moisturizing i probably do it after this i don't know don't quote me but i am going to do a video about um moisturizing my hair like my new method and everything what i did and sometimes even though i'm a licensed cosmetologist um like i said um uh, before i'm new to the natural community like you know i do silk presses and everything but as in physically you know when i cut all my hair off you know i did the really big child cut all my hair off and then you know um i had all these type of questions with the natural hair so I ended up uh, reaching out to another stylist and she gave me some pointers and everything like that so them pointers I'm going to share with you guys um all that will be in another video but this is just a three the three month update video but it's growing you guys it's growing like crazy I actually like was going I was going through my phone and I was like oh my god I miss how like my hair was just super short like at first, I thought I was going to be so nervous about it, but uh, I wasn't. So, yeah. I can even push it back. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm just really having fun with my hair. I'm enjoying it. Another thing is that when I cut it, I was very self-conscious. You know, I was like, oh, you know, what if I go right here and these people look at me? But I feel like... Once I cut it, just like, you know, like a new me, like I don't care who look at me, I don't care what they say, you can call it nappy, you can call it kinky, you can call it coarse, you can call it whatever you want to call it, you know. Um, like, um, today we went somewhere and I seen so many women with their natural hair and I'm just like, I love to see that. Not saying nothing wrong with doing wear weeds or, you know, relaxing anything, but just to see women finally embracing their natural hair, I just love it because every hair curls you might you you know you might not have a uh a, a tight curl might have a loose curl might have a way but it has everybody's hair has some type of curl to it unless you're just like 100 percent straight like a 1a but um yeah and i would just love seeing that i just love seeing women men whoever you know just embracing their natural hair is just so amazing to me like that makes me so happy when i see that so, yeah, I have gained a big confidence in this big chop. I'm still working through it. Um, yeah, but those are my cons. So far, I don't regret my big chop, but my hair is so dry. And 
I am trying everything. I'm trying everything. I'm looking at this online, looking at that online, looking at this video, talking to this person, talking to that person. Everybody got different things. So I have to, you know, I'm trying different stuff, but I have to find out what works for my hair. Once I find out exactly what works for my hair, I will let you guys know what works for your hair. But, um, yeah, so what I've been using now is okay. Um, like, it gets, like, my curls get real juicy. You guys, guys know what I mean? It gets real juicy. And then, um... It's like, I wish it was a product, because the product that I use, you know, you guys, you know, my Holy Grail um, curl product that I go by, I really love that, but I want something that, okay, so let me tell you what I want. So you know how, like, you, you wash your hair or whatever, you put your products in there, and that's how it look, right? All day. That's how I want it to look all day. And another thing, you guys, is, I think I already said this, I don't know, if I said it again, I'm sorry, I can't, you know. Jeez, you guys, I'm so sorry. But, um, all these different patterns that's going on in my hair is crazy. That's another con. I just wish it would say, you know, if you're going to be a 4B, 4B, if you're going to be 4A, 4C, whatever, just be that. It's just all these different, especially, like, my middle, like, my all right here, my crown areas are a whole different texture from here. It's just crazy. Um, I have been using a new product. I'm going to hurry up and wrap this up. I have been using a new product, Miss Jessie's. Um, I'm going to do a review on that because that's something to be reviewed about. So, you guys definitely stay tuned on that. It's just, you know, this hair journey I'm going on, I love it. I hate it. You know, <laughs> it's, it's like up and it's a hate and love relationship. I hate that I can't figure out exactly, you know, what's going on with the dryness in my hair. But I love it and I embrace it. You know, I walk outside with my hair just, you know, just like this, you know. Just like this and not caring who's looking or who saying anything. It's all about that confidence that comes right here. So, yeah, that's just the update of my three-month my three month chop. Um, but I know for a lot of people, a lot of people say that they, their scalp get real dry. My scalp does not get dry. It's just my hair. But I'm definitely working on that. But, yeah, so the pros so far from a three-month check is that my hair is growing. My hair is healthy, and I love my hair. The cons are my hair, all these different curl patterns going on, and my hair is dry. So, yeah, I'm finding products and everything like that, like I said before. My next video will probably be a, um, a product review video or a moisturizing video. I have two videos that I need to film. I don't know which one I'm going to do first. I might do one after this video. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to do those videos, so stay tuned. I know Miss Jessie is, um, is love within the natural community, so if you guys love Miss Jessie um, products or you guys are interested in Miss Jessie products, I'm definitely going to do a review. I'm honest, all my reviews are honest. I'm going to do an honest review on that. And yeah, so that's my three month update you guys and i'm gonna do another three month update i was gonna do like every single month but i was just wanted my hair to fully grow and i can feel fully understand what's going on with my hair every single month you get what i'm saying I'm trying to be like oh this month this happened this month that happened so i do every three months so i come back in another three months and do an update video but all in between that time i'm gonna do product reviews i have so many products that i need to do a review on so just stay tuned for that and don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. Definitely comment down below if you guys even have any type of tips that will help me with um, the dryness of my hair. You know, I'm always interested and in, um, what's it called? You guys, if y'all just know, what help help me out with this dryness. It's just driving me crazy. But yeah, so let me. Just go on and wrap that up, you guys. So, like I said, don't forget to comment down below and let me know if your hair um, so far, don't matter if you've been natural for three years, four years, or even two months. Just let me know what's going on with your hair and what you've been using. So, I'm going to go and get up out of here. See you guys in the next video. Oh, it didn't cut off. <laughs>